in a particular dis uh, discipline that's called Ikebana. I, when I teach it, I call it Kado because Kado is actually Chinese for path, a way of flowers. And yet, the, the, the item itself is called an Ikebana. It's like saying a shirt or a pair of socks. So that's how the vocabulary works. And one of the reasons I think that we are able to offer this for you is because um, it's traditionally a really simple way of being introduced to the heaven earth man principle or space form and energy. Little different sometimes when we use the vocabulary in Shambhala art. Nevertheless, from about 500 years in uh, Japan, the elements of, of heaven earth and man have used those names. So. We're talking about tradition here. Today we'd like to do for you a classical piece, which means it's just like when you're working with piano or ballet, you have to, you have to learn the pirouette, and you have to learn the C scale, and you have to do it a million times, or what is it, 10,000 hours, <laughs> to be good at it. So this is really very boring, basic stuff that we're going to do today. Tomorrow we're going to play with it a little, little more and use the organic forms to express something that we're going to learn tomorrow. But today is just basic, boring, classical work. Is it meditation and action? Yes, everything is. We know that already. So have I prepared my mind as best as I can? What are you going to do when you get on the bus and somebody is just driven by and your whole front is covered with mud? <laughs> <laughs> Smile and sit down. <laughs> That's about what your option is if you've got a seat. Of course, we can go out into rages and all that stuff, but it's a waste of time. Who needs it? So what I'm going to do here is try to do this, the foundation anyway, backwards, which means that I'm just a wall, and you are the viewers. The people right here, which only means Janet, and part of Neil, <laughs> are in the viewing place. But what I'm going to do is turn the bowl so that you can see little by little. Okay, do This is a very simple exercise. Every student in the universe, if they're doing this particular kind of um, discipline, learns these pirouettes and C scales. And I guess if you're doing rocket science, you learn how to pick up a wrench. I don't know. But you know, it's just basic discipline. Mm -hmm. Nothing you want to more. There is no There's no me and my creativity going on. If there is, it's really small. And what is that amount? It's basically in the choice of materials. But even then, you're limited by what's growing on and happening outside now. So I went and snatched some things from now outside. And then we're using roses because roses, even though they're store-bought, are still manifesting here in Southern California. So it's very honest, very true to Southern <coughs> California. It's not true for other parts of the world, but it's very honest for here. All right, so <clears throat> as with everything, you assemble your tools, your mind should, you should be aware of your mind. If your mind is, if you're not aware of your mind, your environment will wake you up. How? How now, brown <coughs> How does your environment work for us? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> well, what are some, possibilities? Are some possibilities? Possibility. Accidents. Ah. Mishaps. Yes. yes. Blessed, blessed <coughs> mishaps. Putting your brush in the socket instead of the ink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a pity. <laughs> Pardon? The, the hiccups. The hiccups, yes. Blessed events. <clears throat> as with every, um, what do you call it? As with every unfolding of things as they are, there is the natural order. The natural order is always, always, and always called heaven, earth, of the humanity. Or, as we've learned another vocabulary, an SA, space, form, and energy. 
This is dirty. I don't care. I'm not going to clean it. That's enough. Why can you spray it down real quickly? No, it's no. true to Los Angeles. It's true to Los Angeles. It's a little soot. What? Just a little soot. It's good for you. Very well. You know, it really doesn't matter. In other environments, I would uh, take the time to actually clean it. Because if this was a wedding, for example, you're oh, not going to have dirty stuff sitting around. That's not so great. Unless that's what they wanted. <laughs> Makes the new growth even more promising. Makes what? The new growth even more promising. No, but when you live here, that's what you have to say. <laughs> blip, blip. Sounds like a little fishy in there. So that's the front. And as I said, Janet and part of Neil are the only people that really have a right on straight view now, but it will change. I will change it for you. <clears throat> this opens the space. But on the other hand, you can say, no, this opens the space, and you'll be correct. But then you can say, no, this opens the space. And you can be correct. And then you can say, no, this opens the space. And you can be correct. But in terms of not confusing you, but at the same time getting a little more of a deeper view on opening space, From a purist point of view, this is the space, this is entered, this is entered, this is entered. Now from an Ikebana Kado point of view, this opens the space. We call it heaven. Always, as we've already understood, the earth principle comes next. It cannot be any other way. As you may know, the Vidyadra, the gentleman who was on this side of the shrine, was a master in a school called Sogets, who helped flower practice. He learned it from a woman in, in England whose name is Stella Ko, who studied in Japan with the master who opened up the world of flower arranging in terms of opening it up to what we call um, open form. It freaked out his father. And the father disowned him. But nevertheless, with all the pain that that man suffered, the world of flowers actually went into another realm. And it was influenced by the Western painters of the last century that did things called what we call Impressionism. This is not what we're doing today. Tomorrow we'll attempt to do 